What's going on guys, Will Morse here, bringing guys a brand new episode of Washington Station. The best station for Washington Football Nation. Now, can you believe it? Well, we can. We talked about it a couple weeks ago on a video talking about this and this specific subject and Dwayne Haskins. But I thought, you know, with such a momentous event, even though we kind of saw it coming, I feel like I couldn't go without making a video about it. So, if you're wondering, what the heck is he talking about? Alex Smith, who on November 18th, or November 17th, um, 2018, suffered a broken leg in our uh, game, game versus the Houston Texans. Since then, he had he spent a three months in the hospital. So uh, three more in a uh, was it no one month in the hospital, three more in a wheelchair, about eight months I think in an external fixator, seventeen surgeries, almost lost his leg, almost lost his life, and he's back on the football field. How amazing is that? How amazing is it that? He worked his way back. Joe Theismann even said, you know, Joe Theismann who had the gruesome injury, he said, Alex Smith's injury was worse than mine. But his upside is amazing. A lot of people are backing Alex and saying that he's going to have a good season. and I hope so. I want Alex to have a freaking amazing season. I want him to have a great season. I want him to go off. But, I'm just have an amazing season. He's not going to go off. Because he's going to be a backup. Some people have trouble believing this. That he's going to be a backup to Dwayne. And it's written in stone. Ron Rivera said it himself. Says Alex Beck. Yes, he's going to get reps. Yes, he's going to get reps with every team. But he is not the starter. And he's made it clear. The starting job is Dwayne's to lose. So unless Dwayne just goes out and plays awful... It's Alex's job. I mean, it's Dwayne's job, not Alex's job. But, you know, there's a piece of me, and I'm pretty sure it's in all fans right now, that hope just a tad that we get to see a little bit of Alex. Because we don't get to see him in a preseason because there is no preseason. So, as a fan, you just really want to see Alex out there and just see him drop back in the past, see him hand it off to AP, you know. It's just... I can't believe how amazing it is, you know, that he's back. You know, you can't think of it without having a smile on your face. Just thinking about all that he's been through and see where he is now. Especially if you have watched the um, ESPN documentary Project 11 that featured his um, re rehab and uh, covered all the surgeries he had. You know, it gets you emotional. Like, I'm 100% Dwayne. You know, I think he's going to be the quarterback and he's the guy of the future, but, you know, you you just, you can't just ignore what's going on with Alex. You know, he has a comeback, whether he plays or not. This is the, one of the greatest comebacks in sports history. Whether he backs up or starts, you know, he is just outright great. I do think, um, I know... The NFL kind of pitched this idea to teams about having a quarantine quarterback. You know, something goes down, you have that quarterback that's ready to go. Because, you know, most positions you can take in another guy, give him the basics, they can go on the field. When you're a quarterback, you got to know the signals, you got to know the play calls, you got to know the key words. I mean, audibles, you know, you got to know the, the count. So, it's a bunch of things that a quarterback you bring in just won't know. So I think having Alex as that quarantine QB is is the best decision you could have. Because Dwayne's going to start, Cal Allen, back him up, and have Alex who, who's still learning the system. Because, you know, you know, this is Alex's first year in the system. Cal Allen's really the veteran in the whole building right now. And, um, you know, I just hope the best for Alex. I hope he, has a, I hope he balls out wherever he goes whether it's here in Washington or somewhere else and uh, I want him to play again I want him to start again as long as he's able um I really hope the best for him I think it's amazing I know his family's happy 
could probably happen a little bit on the edge because they're like, we finally got you back to perfect condition, and now you're going to go right back to what caused it. And but you know, it's the love of the game. You know, you somebody like that wants to go to war every day and get in the trenches and pass the ball, run the ball, you know, call the plays, you know, man the huddle, lead the team, you know, all those things. It's something you just can't just back away from because you had a one horrible incident. You you just you know you deal with the after effects of it, but in the end you go back and do what you love because. That's that's what we live for, to do what we love. And Alex loves football. He wants to play football. So I think he's going to be in good condition. I think him not starting is probably the best for him. Just give him more time to get acclimated to, fo- to uh, full football activity for a while and then eventually get back into the action. Um, so I just hope the best for him. I hope the best for his family. I really... I'm so happy for him. I couldn't be more happy. I'm so excited for him and his family. I know they're just so happy right now, and I'm just uh, I'm just filled with joy thinking about what they're thinking about right now. And uh, you know, it makes you want to get teary eyed a little bit. You know, I saw that and I got a little teary eyed because you know it's just like the amount of stuff he's had to go through to get to this point. It's just amazing. I'm so happy, and if somehow this comes across to Alex, you know. Congratulations, man. You're a freaking beast making it back here. I hope the best for you. But, you know, man, it's crazy. You know, just thinking about it, you know, put in perspective, it's just, holy crap, it's amazing. It's a good day to be a Washington football team fan, that's for sure. Because we all love Alex. He's a great guy. Stand-up guy, always there for the quarterbacks, Dwayne, Kyle Allen, Steven Montez. Last year when it was Colter Case and Dwayne. And uh, the other guy, who I can't remember his name. That was that four-string guy. We also had Josh Woodrum from Liberty, but there was that other guy that played in the preseason. Don't even know who he is. Um, but, you know, I just hope the best for him. I hope he has a great season. hope he balls out. And uh, whether it's behind the QB or under center. So we'll see how it goes. You know, uh, it's amazing. You know, I'm keeping my thoughts and prayers for him and his family that this transition back to uh, a semi-normal life to what it was years before goes well. And I pray the best for him. And so on that note, you know, it's going to be another short Redskins Washington station. So I'll catch y'all later. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoy. Make sure to hit that bell button if you want to see more videos and be notified every single time up a new episode of Washington Station is uploaded to the channel. Thank y'all so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. HGTR. And I'm out. Peace.